Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here, back with more Let's Play Jean Dark. Alright, so, um, as you can see, we are still here in this fight, and I'm just, you know, doing what I can to get through it. It's not terrible. Uh, we, we have options. So what we can do is we can, we can take out a good number of people, and uh, I need to heal. Let's see, you have a heal, so we're gonna have Jean heal the Beast Warrior. We'll do that. That's, that's fine. My, I don't, I know I have done something wrong, because my system is not as, uh, as efficient as it was. It's, it's spiking in CPU usage, and, you know, I'm really hoping that does not affect the quality of the Let's Play. Alright, so we are going to attack kill that guy with the beast warrior and we get piercing power from him that's actually quite worthwhile and a level up for the beast warrior to le level 14 that's that's great let's see skills we've got wood shop which will do 67 versus attack which will let's do wood shop cuz yeah we want to do Oh, 70 points of damage. That's... Mazel Tov. Alright, and we can move uh, Leanne here. And she can either heal or fireball. I think fireball is going to be our best bet. We could do 58 damage to the Gazelioth, or we could just take out the Orknight. I think taking out the Orknight is going to be our best bet. So, he's gone. And we get a wood chop from him. And we've got Roger left to move. We're gonna move him up here. Because he doesn't have anything. Oh no, he's got heal. I could heal. Let's see. I could yeah, I could heal Lahire. So we're gonna do that. Take that as an opportunity to heal. And I'm kind of okay with that. And enemy phase. Enemy phase, enemy phase. So we're gonna have this. Okay, he's going after... Okay, that's gonna be fun, because we can't attack him from here. So... Oh, a swing and a miss, and a critical as a retort. I'm kind of okay with that. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to just kill this guy. Uh, let's see, skills, wood chop. Uh, Woodchuck probably won't kill him, but we can do a fair bit of damage to him in the process. And a miss. And we are going to send the Beast Warrior over that way to get uh, the treasure that's up there, is where we're going to go with him. And then we're going to get the treasure that's over here, and that will be it. Alright, so you're level 16, you're level 16, you're level 15. You don't have... You don't have a long-range attack at the moment. You are level 12. You are going to get the kill. <laughs> Plus, I need to move people forward so that they can heal you, because you just took, you know, a ridiculous amount of damage from a blizzard. And Giles is 13. That's great. Let's move you over here. Heal... Because we don't want anyone to die. Not that anyone dying is actually, you know, anything major in this fight. I just... I just don't want anyone to die. So move Jean there. And Roger there. And that's the turn. We've got the sorcerers. We've got the two swordsmen. Oh, this... You're... You're coming to... Oh, AoE! I forgot about that. That is an AoE. You, sir, have pissed me off. Alright, so, again, we'll start with moving Beast Warrior, because he's just going to be kind of out of the way. The higher has no movement in water. 
Uh, let's see. Skills. Impale. Gonna do some damage to him at a distance. Not great damage, but... Better than nothing. And 44, and hey, look! That's where the treasure is. And do I have a... S I've got heal. Alright, so... We'll just wait there and get the treasure. That's fine. Healing herb. Eh, eh. Could be better. And you've got a fireball spell? But I, oh, I can reach him. Yeah, you're gonna die. Because I don't like you having an AoE. So, you're you're dead. And Luna Spirit and Ice Bullet. Alright. Not bad. Not bad at all. We've got this. And the healer is going to run away now. So that's kind of okay. And they're gonna come in and think that they can... They can put a world of hurt on us. We're going to show them just how wrong they are. Alright, so we're going to move you over here. And next turn we'll be able to get that. So, let's... Let's transform. I will find the miracle within me. So that we can take these two guys out. Because the healers of little consequence, we just want to kill her so that we can... Uh, deific talent. Oh yeah, I forgot deific talents. Let's see. 41, 41. Okay, I can... I can stand doing 40 points of damage to both of you. Alright, let's... Transform with Jean. Because we want to kill everyone so that uh, the, the potential of the skill drop from the healer can add another heal, so... Do some damage to you. Not enough to kill him. We can have Roger, because he's not really doing much of anything at the moment. Or, um... Yeah, let's just, let's do that. Take him out. Maybe get Lahire up there. <laughs> The higher's not getting, gonna get up there. He's 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 moving exceptionally slow. And let's move you here and cast heal, Roger. Just some extra XP because we are gonna be at turn ten, which is not great but not bad. So oh, you're gonna heal. Oh, how wonderful. How wonderful for you. I'm killing you. Ow. I didn't think she'd actually come out from her little hiding place. Roger is 16. Okay. Oh. You thought you were going to be clever. How much do you regret that now? All right. I'm, I'm, I'm killing you. Yeah, I'm killing you. <laughs> with, with a flash of light. Alright. And we get magic shield. Okay. And we get godspeed, so we can actually end this right now. Um, I don't remember where the treasure is. I think it's there. Ah, son of a bitch. It's there. Alright, so we will take another turn. That's fine. Let's... Let's kill him. So that we can get some XP on Giles. And 26 gold. That's fine. And Giles is 14. And Godspeed. So we are going to move you over here and get another attack and kill him so that's that's fine and we'll just go ahead and end this turn because we're done 
and then we will get the treasure and have Jean move to, uh, and gonna transform, and John's gonna transform. Everyone transforms back because they got two turns. That's fine. Alright, so let's get this treasure, which is a 100% heal chance. Doesn't matter where, what I'm doing with it. Alright. Alright, so we get that. And now move John there, and we win. That's it. That's that's the battle. Now we can free the city. So I'll have a little bit of a cutscene after this, and that'll probably be this episode. So, stage cleared. Alright. Total bonus, bonus ducks, 708 XP, 800 gold, Sybil Fruit and a Manosh uh, Sybil Fruit Manoshard, and who levels up? Jean, Marcel, Giles, Jean, Bertrand, and Lahire. Not a bad series of levels up for everyone. I'm kind of okay with that. So. That's because Jeanne has finally given them hope. Uh, my quest is not yet over. I still have to fight for France and all of our people. I will put an end to this bitter war. Alright, so, fantastic little cutscene there. And we start off... Her listening to God again. Set Orleans free. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. That's that's the goal. And, oh, we're at the War Council. Okay. Pussel, Pussel I just wanted to... Uh, yeah, time for the War Council. We, we don't get to... We don't get to talk to the Beast Man. The, he, okay, and the fact that he's a pug, his eyes are just all over the place. Later, here a map of Orleans and its uh, environs. So, you over there, are you hard of hearing? Yeah, I love how everyone's still kind of treating us like, oh, well, it's just, it's a, it's a hassle to, we just took the city. <laughs> like, <laughs> our Orleans campaign will focus on three fortresses. The Bastille of St. Luke. <laughs> The Bastille of the uh, Augustans, and finally the Torrells, which lead to the main gates. The enemy have made the latter their sh main stronghold. Okay, so obviously something leading to the main gates is going to be their main stronghold. The plan, some kind of a joke. Thwe battle? Oh my god. Ah. Drawn out campaigns are for little babies. Lahair thinks we must make for the Tyrells and trample our foes in one mighty battle. Well, that would be great. <laughs> then Lahair must want us all to die. Not everyone shares your disregard for self-preservation. Well, you know... <laughs> yeah, I like that aging noble. Aim into that. I don't want to die. <laughs> what an animal. Well, he's a... He's a lion man. You know, Lahire is not the only one ready to die. Right, General? <laughs> I count uh, Jean is now a General. We were nothing like 20 minutes ago, and now we're a General. You two can keep your primal instincts, thank you kindly. The rest of us would prefer to exercise prudence and topple the smallest Bastille first, which would make St. Luke our best, uh, surest bet, no? And the train works in our favor there. See no harm in taking St. Luke out of the picture forthwith. Alright, so we have a plan. Have you anything to add? No. Let's just go kill some Englishmen. That's... 
Rest up all you can, friends. Tomorrow we march on St. Luke. So, that, it seems like... I don't know. Something doesn't feel quite right. I can't quite put my finger on it. I don't know why. Maybe this will have some explanation for that. English Army's War Council. Oh goody, we get to see what the English are doing. Glasdale! The whole reason they were able to break the siege was... So sorry to intrude on such a vigorous discussion. Oh, it's Talbot. You're still alive. To what do I owe this honor? <laughs> You're in command here? I heard you let the enemy into Orleans, William. That's no concern of you or your pack of demons. Oh, so Talbot's got... He's apparently in charge of, you know, a monster brigade. And if you kindly leave so we can finish our council. Actually, certain higher authorities have requested my pack of demons to come to your army's assistance. Oh. Well, it seems like Talbot is feared and or respected, but the troops that he commands are not. <laughs> or both. Uh, I know your enemy better than you. The harlot who sent your men running defies conventional logic. And what does that mean? You honestly believe all that bo bollocks about a savior? We'll just have to see in the meantime. Stop screwing up. Ooh! Harsh words from Talbot. Talbert, not having any of your sass. Eugene, wake up. What, what, what are we doing? What's going on? Yeah, what's, what's going on, Richard? The battle started. They all marched without us. Oh, what the hell? And another fantastic bleep. So... And it's the Beastman. He's the one that told me what happened this morning. Uh, 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 mm. My name is Rufus. Ran here all the way from Vancouver. I'm ready to, I'm ready to lay down my life if you ask. Okay, that's great. But... She, she doesn't love me. Listen to me, Rufus. Don't ever talk about throwing your life away. If you want to do something for me, then live. Fight. Rough. Ruby Ruby Roo! Is it morning yet? I love how she's just kind of lazily waking up. And then the frog thing. Okay, where'd everyone go? Oh, they went off to battle. Bye-bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Alright, so now we get to go to uh, Bastille of St. Luke. But we actually can also start shopping in Orleans. But I'm not going to do either of those, because I don't have a lot of time in this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and I will see you guys in the next installment, where we will uh, get uh, equipment out of the way, and then we are going to go capture the Bastille. So, uh, till then, later, everyone.